For the last three years, Martha Martin has fought for justice after her daughter, Chantel Moore, was fatally shot during a wellness check. Martin's calls to change policing were finally answered by the Victoria Police Department. Your police department is getting a head start of, you know, and I hope this has a ripple effect going out towards, you know, the country because it's badly needed. The new co-response team is called CRT. It pairs a mental health practitioner with a police officer to respond to wellness checks. A Victoria Police News release states that officers with CRT have specialized training in responding to and supporting people through client-centered, trauma-informed approaches and de-escalation. Victoria Police Chief Dalmanic further said. Which is mental health calls where people are either in mental health crisis or they're having a mental health episode and they need intervention is not criminal in nature. Let's just admit that. They're not criminal. Um, these are health issues. Manic described an incident that shows how the CRT team is already a success. And it turned out they were out of their medication and they needed medication. We're able to make a phone call while the person is at their residence, get their prescription filled, deliver their prescription, and we didn't have to take them to the hospital. So Chantal Moore's death led to public outrage and rallies across the country. And last year, a coroner's inquest in New Brunswick found Moore's death a homicide. It was emotionally devastating for Moore's family. But Martin says she's ready to heal. We're going in the right direction where, you know, it's a start towards, you know, mending these bridges between policing and, you know, I know there's a lot of, of mistrust when it comes with policing and, you know, I might stand alone on this, but you know what, if I don't, you know, I can't come out of a place of hatred, you know, I, in order to heal, you know. APTN News asked the Edmondson police if they considered a similar project. Edmondson Police Chief Steve Robinson was unavailable for an interview. But their communications director said the New Brunswick's police departments already work with the province's mobile crisis unit. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Jabuktuk, also known as Halifax.